Does DIY actually save you money? Longevity is where I really think the difference maker is. I think you'll get a quality enclosure without spending a lot of money. Hey everyone, what's up? Today I thought we could discuss DIY versus commercial in the reptile hobby. We all look for a way to save money in this hobby. It could be rather expensive at times, but does DIY actually save you money in the long run? We can talk about the pros and cons, how I'd go about really deciding whether DIY is a better option than commercial for you, uh, and we'll talk about all that. I have had extensive experience with both. I have a lot of DIY enclosures. I've had experience with using other people's DIY, DIY work uh, and using commercial type enclosures and such. So we'll talk about all that and I'll give my opinion uh, and whether I think that DIY is a good choice. So let's get to it. Before we do though, make sure you check that lower right hand corner, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell as well, leave a like and a comment. All right, let's get to the discussion. As some of you may know, I've done various DIY enclosure builds. This is my latest one here, a four by two by three for the baby Ackies. I actually did just add in some climbing wood there to get in a range of the UVB. I'll be adding more as well, but I just wanted to give that quick update. Uh, and I've also done other builds as well. I have two six by two and a half by four foot enclosures. It's these two right here. Those house my adult Ackies. And then I have a five by two and a half by four foot unit over there that has my beardy and my Russian tortoise. Now I'm not handy whatsoever. Uh, these builds were actually some of the first handy type building things I've ever done, if you wanna even call it that. So I do not consider myself handy. You do not need to be handy to do these things. And in terms of price, it did probably save me some money. These builds right here, the Dalaki ones, they cost me about 500 and I even put in some stuff that actually ran it up a little bit more than I would really need. Uh, so I think you could do these for 400. If you were to buy these commercially, I think it would be uh, at least a couple hundred more. So I did save money doing it myself. And that is nice in the initial cost, not having to pay as much initially. But there are some things you need to keep in mind moving forward. For one, I had to go through a move and this one had to go through that move. It did not come out in one piece. We did have to kind of reinsert new wood, a uh, new lid I think was added. Uh, we had to re-screw it. So there was a lot of renovation to it after the move because it got banged around a lot. I also had to put in some reinforcement on it because of all the pressure of the dirt and such. So it's not that pretty looking anymore. Although I will say overall, I think it did come out decent, at least for someone who's new to the handiness game. Now, I will say this was not built to go through a move, and I'm sure people who are more handy could build something that would tolerate a move a lot better. Uh, you could also use PVC, which could be easily taken apart and put back together, like the AP cages and stuff, although those are commercial, and I don't know a lot of people who do PVC enclosures DIY, uh, unless they're doing it as a business. Now let's talk about longevity. Longevity is where I really think the difference maker is, personally. I always thought DIY was a way to go to save money. Uh, initial cost, it was saved, and it was pocketed, and it paid off, and it was amazing. But in terms of longevity, if you really think about lifetime, you know, costs, these are not going to last as long unless you're really skilled, really handy, know what you're doing, have the correct materials. Um, and the commercial builds, you know, they build them for longevity. They do cost a lot more initially, but you're probably going to have them for a lifetime. I don't think these are going to come with me next time I move. I don't think they would make it anyway. So those are things you need to consider. I actually think... If you're using this, uh, I guess, for the foreseeable future, you probably want to get something commercial because I think that's going to pay off. Something that's going to be stable, not break. You might even have a warranty on something. Uh, you don't know. But basically, I think it's going to pay off a lot more in the long run to pay more up front um, instead of doing DIY. Another consideration for DIY versus commercial is the size usually bigger enclosures like this one right here, the T100 from Animal Plastics, is gonna cost you a lot more than DIY. Uh, smaller enclosures like four by two by two or less are probably not gonna be much of a difference between a commercial and DIY build. I did get this one because I did want something a little bit nicer looking because I'm not super handy, like I said. So I did pay a decent amount, like 12, 1300 for this. And the shipping also packs the punch as well. We'll talk about that in a moment. So if you're building or wanting to get something bigger, I would go DIY maybe, especially if you're not seeing a move in the foreseeable future. Uh, you're probably gonna save money there. 
It might be a bit harder to build, but you definitely will save a lot more if you're doing a bigger enclosure. For the shipping, that's gonna pack a punch as well, especially for the larger enclosures, those kind of go hand in hand. You're gonna have to ship freight or something. It's gonna be harder to range of time for pickup. They're gonna cost more, possibly several hundred dollars. So that is another consideration as well. When you're doing DIY, you don't have to worry about shipping. You just go to your Lowe's, you get all the tools you need, and you put it together. So you do save a lot there. Maybe you can save some money on shipping by doing a pickup, but usually that's not always feasible. So you do need to consider shipping as well as not just the cost of the enclosure. Additionally, when it comes to commercial enclosures, you need to take into consideration the amount of time it takes to manufacture and ship. Bigger companies like Animal Plastics will take about five to six months to get you the enclosure. Even smaller businesses will take at least four to six weeks to put it together and ship it out to you. When it comes to DIY, you could probably have an enclosure ready in just a few days. At most, you might need to spend some time letting sealant dry for moisture protection, and not all enclosures need that. So if you're getting a reptile next week, a DIY enclosure is a lot more feasible than a commercial one. You're not gonna get a commercial one in a week unless something's already made that you could pick up. So that is another trade-off you need to consider when it comes to these two things. There is also a potential hidden cost of DIY builds as well. If you don't have the tools, they cost money. It's not just the building materials. Maybe you're a handyman, maybe you already have these tools, that's great. But if you don't, you might need to get a tool specifically for these enclosures, and that's an additional expense. So do consider that, it's just not the materials. You might also need something to cut the wood, something you're not considering off the bat. It's usually gonna cost more than your initial layout of the pricing. Now with all this said and my experience with both DIY builds and commercial builds, do I have a recommendation for you? I do go commercial, but with a caveat, go to a small business. I like to call these businesses Facebook businesses because you find a lot of independent people on Facebook doing businesses, building reptile enclosures. They are very handy, they do PVC. You're gonna get the longevity out of it, but you're not gonna get that huge price tag as they are a lot more reasonable than those companies. Uh, the shipping time is also a lot less as well. It's more towards like four weeks, like I said earlier, instead of half a year. So I think that is a good medium. If you're handy though, I think you should do DIY. I think you'll be able to do it fine. You'll get the longevity, do it correct. You won't have to worry about the extra expenses. But if you're not handy like me, I think the best way to go about it is go to these Facebook businesses, have them build something for you, ship it out, and I think you'll get a quality enclosure without spending a lot of money and having to wait a long time. All right, guys, so that about wraps up this video. I hope it helped you decide whether DIY or commercial is right for you. The whole point of the video is to do that. So leave a comment. If it did, leave a like as well. Make sure to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Tonight, we will be over at DBCB Exotics at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time doing a live stream on Tegu. So make sure to join us, and I will see you then. All right, guys. See ya.